what's up? I'm just gonna be really relaxed for this video because the theme of this video is super relaxed. How to be lazy and a guide to being lazy without like losing your integrity completely unless found out. <laughs> so be careful with these. Sometimes when I make videos, I try to not only be entertaining but also informative or like, you know, helpful in some way. I feel like this video could actually make it onto the top charts of videos that has been helpful or could maybe help you. So if you're a lazy piece of shit foreigner like me, keep watching. But like, please, keep it between us. So I made a list of all the reasons that you can use for like being late in China and surprisingly, they all fit into one index card. I guess I'll just start. Number one, traffic. The thing with this one is it's not quite specific to China. I'm gonna give you some good ones specific to China, specific to Shanghai even. Second, Chinese and English addresses or pronunciations. This works especially well if you're new in Shanghai. So for instance, you can be like, hello, I mean, hello. Um, I'm, I'm so sorry, I thought it was like Xu Jiahui but uh, it's at Elon, what are you doing? But it's actually Lu Jiazui and I, I said it wrong, I'm so sorry, I'm on my way, I'm really sorry. I mean, that's a very common mistake and the fact that you try to even speak Chinese, you motherfucking foreigner, is like... I've seen white people give an entire speech and then end it with shi shi and everyone's like... So imagine how much praise you're gonna get at the fact that you even try to say those two locations in Chinese. Next, this is a good one. Chinese police checking in. This has happened to me, and I'm sure this has happened to you or many of my friends. Friends? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's always super early in the day, like 6 a.m., 6.30 a.m., and you're just like, who the fuck is knocking on the door? Like, I've only had one hour of sleep. Boom, 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 boom. Like a hard knock. You're just like, Holy fuck, is it like a crazy ex or something? And then you open the door to realize it's even worse, the motherfucking police officer. And you're just like, what's going on? Like, I'm such a good girl, like, what did I do wrong? I'm just kidding, but like, you know what I mean, something like that. And then they're like, uh, blah, blah, blah. Basically check your registration, check to see your resident permit is not expired, check to see you registered and do everything right. And it could, easily take an hour of your sleep away. So definitely, let's say if you were like about to head out the door, you can definitely be like, oh, I'm so sorry, like the police came and I had to you know, take care of that shit. By the way, all of these things are not really like excuses in the sense that these have all happened to me, but I cannot admit or deny that I've used it more than once or used it more like than the actual time it happened. Where are we? Okay, electricity apartment maintenance. This is a really funny one because I feel like it's not like a one universal law, which means you can much easily get away with something like this in China. So one of the apartments I lived in, deadass, like they knocked on my door and they were like, oh, we're collecting water fee. I'm like, what? I've never even heard of this and I've been here for a year. And they're like, yeah, that's because we collect the water fee once a year. I'm like, ah. Uh, Okay, and then just last month, some guy came to my apartment and he was like, I'm here to check to see if your coal is working right. I didn't even know anything in my apartment ran on coal, so that was also a surprise, but also an excuse to be late. I forgot if this is the fifth or the sixth, but no big deal because what matters is the fact that you're gaining knowledge of gold here. Next is landlord. I'm actually really fortunate and blessed, thank you, to have a landlord who is so understanding and chill and does not come near my apartment whatsoever no matter what but i've had landlords who are not always like this like once it was like dead in the winter <laughs> super cold freezing and then like she's just like oh i'm coming to get something now i was like okay and then she came and took the table away <laughs> she's like i need this table so then I had to get another table, which is another long story. But anyway, if the landlord ever comes and like checks on you or whatever she does, that's also going to take away time from if you need to go somewhere. Boom, another excuse to your list. This is a good one, but 
it's not always doable. Waiting for delivery guy to sign for a package. For some reasons, certain packages, or some people like to say parcels, which is a little bit weird, but you know, I just say packages. But they would say like, you need to sign them before you can accept it, before you can keep it, whether it is a letter or a package from Taobao. Sometimes the wait can go from like 20 minutes to up to a couple of hours because of the delivery process, the traffic, whatever. Boom, more excuses for you. Next one, it's the simplest one because you just have to say one word, visa. If you say visa to any Chinese person, they'll probably just be like, oh, okay, 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 that's it. But actually this could probably work to other foreigners as well, but for them, they might probably ask you like, what's up, what happened with your visa? And that means you would have to like lie further than you already are. And we want to keep the lies to the minimum. So probably just use this to your Chinese friends. Next one says airport. I don't, know, I don't know, that doesn't make as much sense. I guess maybe I meant to say like, if you just flew from America or whatever country you're from, and then you're like, oh, I'm just, uh, you can't be coming back from wherever your country is every single week or every single other day or whatever. So you can't really use this excuse as much compared to the other ones. Last one I have is, this is not applicable to everyone living in Shanghai because if you lived in Pudong, for instance, this probably is just like, dude, you should know by now. But if you don't, like me, where I've only had maybe two encounters in Pudong and this has been true, this has been real, all of these has been real. There's a station called Century Avenue where you can switch to either Line 4 or Line 6 and this is one incredible switch because it's like the Line 6, I believe, has an upstairs and a downstairs. Like it's not like left or right on the same platform, it's two platforms. So you can always blame on like going on the wrong platform and like something like that. But you can also say like you went onto line four, which is a loop and that somehow like the loop took you this way or that way. And you're like, oh my God, let me get my phone. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, you know. And of course you can say that you made a transfer at the Shanghai railway station and that's the reason, boom. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate your watch time. It makes everything worth it, including my neighbor potentially hearing me through this non-soundproof wall. And what would make me even happier is if you can give it a wow down below and also check out my YouTube channel. Subscribe to that as well because I'm going to be posting some content that is probably not as suitable for WeChat subscription accounts, but I'm going to keep doing me, so I'm not gonna like not post it. And also, I'm always down for video ideas too. So if you have a good one, leave in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I love you so, 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 so much. Bye.